The outpouring of grief for legendary broadcaster Vin Scully is intensifying across the baseball world and beyond. Flowers were laid this morning at his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and at Dodger Stadium. Generations of fans are remembering Scully's 67 year career calling games for the Dodgers. He began back in 1950 when they were still in Brooklyn. He continued until his retirement in 2016. He died last night at his home in Los Angeles at the age of 94. No cause of death was immediately immediately announced. A groundbreaking program here in Seattle is about to get the full documentary treatment and it all centers around baseball and reintroducing the game to urban youth. As part of our Your Voices series, Kyra Sevens Renji Sinha breaks down the program Baseball Beyond Borders and why it's more than just a team. I was born and raised on this field. Garfield Playfield was and in a sense still is a second home for Buki Gates. It's where he played and dreams of playing at a high level formed. But a dream well beyond that became a reality. Baseball beyond borders. It's beyond the borders that we often have and that we experience in life. It's really birthed off of a concept we call pain, passion and purpose. Around 2007, 2008, Gates created Baseball Beyond Borders as a community group from his pain at being displaced from his home turf. He couldn't play in Seattle and opted to play on the east side, a move that hurt him and he believes hurts the game. How do we get baseball back to Garfield Playfield? How do we get baseball uh, in urban communities? Baseball Beyond Borders is using the game to grow opportunities for urban youth. Gates was saluted this season by the Seattle Mariners for that and helping young people play. How do we create the next Kyle Lewis? How do we build on to the next, uh, you know, J.P. Crawford? It's a uh, more time to play baseball and it's fun time. J.T. Wayne is on the Baseball Beyond Borders team. He played on Garfield High School's team, but admits there are no realistic opportunities beyond that. Now he's playing and traveling the country. We have to continue to find ways to uplift communities. Baseball Beyond Borders is set to be featured in a documentary which followed the group to Jackson, Mississippi, where they taught the game to other young people, played and learned about the game's historical connections to the African-American community. It's much more than them just playing catch, getting in and out, throwing a straight right. It's, it's building lives. Joseph Townsend coaches and says baseball is just one priority. It's about personal growth for not just the individuals inside of the organization playing, but also the, the adults and coaches and all the administration who run the program. Townsend estimates it can cost thousands to play youth baseball, a steep barrier for many families. He's called on Major League Baseball and others to help fund programs like Baseball Beyond Borders, which charge far less to play. The family you can create and the support you have around you is just different from any other team. And that is why it extends well beyond the foul lines. Buki Gates is not in a Major League Baseball dugout, but sitting on these bleachers, his dream of owning a team has come true. He says he wouldn't trade baseball beyond borders for major league stardom. I've spent the spring training, um, played with some of the best of the, in, in the world, but th I wouldn't give it up for this. Not at, all. Not at all. This is more meaningful. For your voices, I'm Ranji Sinha, Cairo 7 News.